everyone, how are you? My name is Marina, I hope you're having a really good day today. So, you probably know what the video is by the title, but before I start I just want to say I'm so sorry that I haven't been like as active as I have been, does that make sense? I have gone full time at work so my hours have gone up and I've also just moved house as you can probably tell by the new background. So things have been really really busy for me and really hectic and crazy this is the first time i've filmed since may and it's now july so i haven't filmed it's the end of july i haven't filmed in like two months so it's really nice to sit down and film and get back into it um so just apologies for that um and yeah i'll just be uploading once a week because i am so busy at work but nevertheless i really hope you enjoy this video and i hope you like my new background i'm gonna try and get like fairy lights across here so yeah you've got that to come anyway today's video is going to be my empties all the products i've used up so everything that i finish i just pop in a bag so i can save and show you guys and let you know what i think if i'd get it again so so i keep it in this like a nyx bag and it's pretty full but obviously this has been since like i don't know april probably so it's been quite a while so i'm just gonna grab and tell you what i thought so here I have this Batiste dry shampoo in floral and fertility. This is a huge can. It's like 400 mils. And I just kept this one at my boyfriend. This is my favourite dry shampoo ever. Like I've tried so many different other dry shampoos. If you look back through my empties, I probably have one in there every other month. I've tried the Lush one, um, Tresemme, Dove, uh, but Batiste wins hands down. It's my favourite, especially this make um the blush one but batiste is my favorite dry shampoo so if you haven't tried it then do but you probably have it's really popular this can is so big next i have got a body cream this is the bath and body works pink chiffon shea and vitamin e body lotion so i got this in a swap probably about a year ago a year or two years ago now um and oh pink chiffon is my favorite favorite scent let me see if like the last bit will come out yeah so it's nice pink oh it smells so gorgeous it's just so sweet and nice and perfect for spring and summer so i love this i have a big one and another mini one and i have like the perfume of this and i had the body wash which is gorgeous so i'm going to america in um february so i will be stocking up on this so if you can get your hands on it this scent is gorgeous Next I have a hand cream, this is by Soap and Glory, it's the Endless Glove 2-in-1 Moisture Mask and Hand Cream. I love Soap and Glory's packaging and I really like these big tubes. Um, I just throw them in my bag or leave them um, like next to my bed. And I always put some on before night. I really like this, it smells quite um, fruity and fresh. I prefer the other hand cream what's it called hand hand food yeah I prefer hand food because the smell is more sweet but this is still nice and it's good that you can use it as a hand mask so it just depends if you like more sweet or more kind of fruity fresh this is more on the fresh side but it was really nice I won't repurchase it because I do prefer hand food and I always get these in the Christmas sets every year and they last me throughout the year so really good Next I have got a Nicki Minaj body cream, looks like this, this came with like the Onika, um perfume, I'll see if I can squeeze any out, no, this was really nice, I just kept this in my gym bag so whenever I went to the gym and um, after I had a shower I would just put this on, moisturise, um, it smelled really good, really nice thick, so yeah I won't purchase it again because obviously you can only get it with the perfume and I've still got loads of the perfume yet left. I really enjoyed using that. Next I have a deodorant. I have got the Short Maximum Prote Protection Antiperspirant Sensitive Dry. Now these are my favourite kind of deodorant because I don't use sprays because I always get um, really inflamed like pores and um, your what they called your lymph nodes are in your armpits. So I always react when I use sprays. So I moved on to roll-ons and the Shaw Maximum Protection is the best. It's amazing, like, in this really hot weather, this will just keep me fresh all day. Um, and then when I changed to another one, like a different brand of deodorant, I really noticed how well these ones actually work. So, really like that, definitely repurchase. 
they're a bit more expensive as well but so worth the extra money next I have got the uh, number 7 protect and perfect intense advanced day cream it's got SPF 15 and 5 star UVA and it's made with hypoallergenic ingredients number skin skincare is kind of expensive but they always give out them um, vouchers and boots where you can get £5 off skincare so if you do I would highly recommend this the night cream I have a lot of favourites from number 7 actually so you get a decent amount of product as well and this smells really fresh luxurious um, it's not too like thick really like that and um, would definitely repurchase and packaging is really nice as well next I have got a face wash I spoke about this in my acne videos before but they were so old this is the cat's eye blends B36 gel wash specifically for acne and blackheads and it had a best before of January 2016 so it looks like this it's not fancy packaging or anything because this is homemade by the guy who owns Cat's Eye Blends. He actually lives quite near me and my mum knows him and buys her massage oils from him. So I get this and like the acne cream. It's got loads of essential oils in which are obviously really good for the skin and really good. So this is my second one that I've used up with this. Obviously I didn't use that because it expired and because it's all natural and stuff you have to stick for the dates with this. But yeah, I'll definitely repurchase this when I need a face wash. I currently have so many face washes. But yeah, really, really like using that. And it smells really nice as well. You can just smell the essential oils. They're beautiful. Um, also, if you do stuff with acne or you need oils or just anything, there's a whole range of things. He has an eBay site. Or if you go to catseyeblends.co.uk and it's K, cat's eye with a K. Um, and then it's got no parabens and things like that so it's really good then I used up a candle this is the Yankee candle in chocolate layer cake it's just a medium size I got this when I went to Florida last year it smells so good oh my god it smells just like a chocolate cake it can be quite sickly though so I probably wouldn't get this again just because it is very very sickly but it's quite nice on like a winter's day when you want to be cosy maybe in the kitchen but it's quite strong my boyfriend didn't really like it but yeah that's that then I used up a whole tub of coconut oil look nothing left um, this is organic raw virgin coconut oil um, cold processed chemical free 100% pure I think I got this one off Amazon my mum got me actually but I think Towards the end of its life, when I got to like down here, I think it went off because I've got a new bottle and it smells really nice like coconut oil should. Um, but towards the end, this kind of just had a bit of a funny smell, but it might be because I kept it in the bathroom and it's quite hot. But I use this to take my makeup off. It's um, a solid oil and then I just take it out, rub it all over my face. Um, and then I'd either just wash it off with face wash or get a muslin cloth and wipe over. I did use this on my eyes to begin with but like I said it started to go a bit funny and then it really stung my eyes. So I do it with my new one but yeah. Does that make sense? <laughs> but yeah this is really good and I'll continue to purchase this. You can also use it for cooking and as like a mouthwash to whiten your teeth. But I never did that because I think it would taste so gross. Next I have this mango body butter from Wilco. I got this because it was on sale for like a pound. Um, and you get a really decent amount in there. Smell really nice. Um, just a really nice average body butter. Like can't go wrong for the price. So good. Used up some face wipes. From Up and Up. From Target in America. Um, got on, on clearance when I was out there. So I can't actually remember what they were like. I don't use face wipes for my face. I use them to get rid of swatches and things. So not very helpful. Then I used up the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation. It looks like this. I have a full review of this. So I'll link it around here or down below. I really like the packaging. It's got a nice decent pump. And I wore the shade 140. 
um, and this says it has SPF 18 in. It was nice, um, quite decent coverage, really nice colour match, really like yellow, which is perfect for me. Not really yellow, but nice yellow undertones. Um, yeah, I like this. It wasn't my favourite, I probably wouldn't repurchase it because there are other drugstore alternatives that I just prefer more, like Revlon Colour Stay, love it. So yeah, I won't purchase this again, but it was really nice to have. Next, I finished up a concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You've probably all seen this before. This one's in the shade Classic Ivory, although it's not that pale. So these just look like this. They're five pounds each, um, and I've got mine in a outlet store in Chatham because they've got a beauty store there. Um, these, at first, I hated it because when I opened it, it was just spraying water. Like, literally, I used up half the concealer the day I opened it because it was just squirting water everywhere. I was not happy. But once it got through that stage, it was actually really nice, really nice, uh, medium medium thickness concealer which gave really nice coverage i just use this under my eyes um, and to kind of highlight even though it's not that light i would have preferred a lighter shade but yeah i've already repatched this so i really like that you've got a mascara this is the ted baker mascara it just came in a gift set which i have done a full review on the gift set as well so i'll leave it down below this did not last me long at all like i probably used this like four times or something so that is the wand as you can see it's got one all bumpy I didn't really like this it was okay I used it to lay I would never use it on its own nice packaging but that's about it I won't be getting another Ted Baker set if I'm honest and then the last item I have is a Royal Revolution Katy Perry Killer Queen shower gel again kept this in my gym bag for when I showered and it smells delicious loved it um, so yeah really nice body wash and that, my loves, is all of my empty products for the month. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to like. If you haven't subscribed, please click that button. It's free and then you can get updates when I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook, my Twitter, Instagram, which are all linked in the description box below. If you want to leave me a comment, feel free. Also, if you want me to do any videos, let me know as well. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!